Okay, guys, weird experiment. I've accidentally made a new account. I don't know what happened. Just while well, I was like, oh, we got no account. Here's a new one. So actually, I'm going to try something. So as you can see, right where I am, we have a Padasaur, Nodosuchus, or Nungasaurus, uh, Irritated Gen 2, and Dilophosaurus. So let's sign out of this one, sign back in, and just see if the same dinosaurs appear where we are. Let's have a look, shall we? <laughs> we actually only have one. Weirdly enough, uh, no Irritator, no Apatosaurus, no Nundugosaurus, but the Dilophosaur Gen 2 is there. Huh. Interesting. I was just curious. I didn't know. Like, we haven't moved. Like, they should be right here. Uh, now, the next thing would be to do different devices. Because I think I've noticed that on an iPhone and an iPad, you get different loadouts as well. Obviously, some will be the same, but there does definitely seem to be that some dinosaurs appear for different accounts or different things. Anyway, anyway, hello everyone and welcome to an episode of Jurassic World Alive. How you doing? You doing good? Hey, we're back, yeah. So, before we get into what's new and all the wonderful, lovely jubbliness that is Jurassic World Alive, let's have a look at the showcase because if you remember, uh, it's on Wednesdays now. They revamp the uh, list of what's coming up. So we uh, take a look, take us away, yes, to the newsroom, yes. Da, 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 da. I love this music. Uh, so, uh, we're not obviously going to talk about Wednesday or Thursday because I'm looking at... Uh, yeah, there you are. Hello. We're obviously, we're, you know, that's past. So, today's Friday. Obviously, the day the video is going out. And, of course, Friday, Saturday and Sunday are the best days. Uh, actually, to be fair, Monday and Tuesday, but we'll get into that. Uh, so, Friday, Saturday. So, this weekend, starting today, in about one hour, whatever I'm recording, but it should be up for you. Um, you have epics to dot. You have 12 attempts to dot the Antarctic Pelter. The uh, deer, I call it Mega 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 Lacerus, I think it is. The hybrid that is the sloth and the Nazutoceratops. I can't remember what that one is. And the Elasmus, Elasmotherium. So, out of those, it's kind of like, it's really up to you. The new hybrid that's in the game, I think it needs that. You need to make first the deer for it. So if you're working towards that, that's your best bet. And to be fair, out of all of these, the easiest one to dart and something to take into account is the deer. The deer is the easiest thing to dart, but hands down, I've often got 300 plus on the deer because it doesn't move too much. It starts are mainly in the middle. So if you want the most bang for your buck, <laughs> hey, get it, it's a deer. Oh, yeah, pretty good. Um, you're probably best going for the deer. Uh, uh, I would anyway, because you're going to need that to make that new apex eventually. Uh, also, also on Friday, uh, you've got an Antarctic Pelter tournament, oh sorry, uh, incubator to get. So that's already like 300 to 200. I think it's 200. Antarctic Pelter done. So if you are going for Antarctic Pelter, well, you've got 200 already there. Now on Sunday, you get one attempt uh, for the Mammotherium and the, I don't even know what those other ones are, the Mammoth and uh, Sinsato Hybrid or Lambio Hybrid, I think it is. And the other one, which I have no idea what is. But that's interesting. Uh, I mean, go for whichever one you're working towards. Um, and then really, the, the best one out of all of these, I'm not going to lie, is Monday to Tuesday, which again, Ludi are being very generous with this. Uh, you can get the bear, you can get the sloth, the clenikin, or the new deer. Now, two of those, you've got 24 of these. This, the bear and the new deer are both creatures you need for the hybrid. Uh, so basically this game, and it has been for a few weeks, it's giving you all the ingredients you need to make that hybrid, the apex. Uh, you're probably not going to be anywhere close, but it's there. And they're, they're giving you the opportunity as well as an incubator, a legendary or epic, sorry, incubator on the Tuesday and on the Monday, a rare incubator as well as a speed boost. Um, so yeah, that that's coming up this week. So where are we now? Eh? Let's take a look. So. There was an update not too long ago, and the game allowed me to, uh, or at least it was like, okay, we've got a new apex. You've got the bear apex. So if we have a scroll down, as you can see, we've already unlocked one of them. Um, but the other hybrids, because they, they made the the Ankylo hybrid, uh, the bear, I think, was already in the game. Um, they made the, the birdie hybrid, and they've made this new snake hybrid. Uh, so we have 80 towards a snake. I don't know what we're missing for it. The true Daboa. That's right. We're missing Trodon. Um, so it's not the first unique snake that we've had. The other one, of course, being the uh, Spino Constrictor, I think it was. So Trodon, is, I don't know. It's kind of a dinosaur that I don't really see too much. So 
I was hoping to unlock it. Didn't quite get there, just shy of it. Um, but uh, this one as well, the, the fu Fukiokasaurus or whatever it is, the Japanese Hadrosaur. Um, I, mean, I haven't seen too much of it. It's true that Ornithomimus, I think, actually, we could probably get this level 50 now. I have so much of this. Out of all of the epics that sort of came out that were, um, like, region locked, um, Street of Mimus was the only one that I could dart, and I, it had no hybrid for the longest time, but now it does! The only problem is the other ingredient, and you know what it is? I've completely forgot what it is. Uh, Street of Mimus being one of these dinosaurs that's, again, very easy to dart, hence the reason why I have 6,000 DNA, and, you know, I don't really need it, I suppose. Uh, exploring Europe! Whoa! I've done that! I live there! Um, and then the Fook, Fook, what's it called? The Fookiosaurus. Uh, interesting. I don't, you know, out of all of the, um, the dinosaur discoveries of the modern era, you could say, with feathered dinosaurs and all this jazz, um, I don't think many of them came from Japan. It's mainly been China, uh, which is why we have Changesaurus and Archaeopteryx and all that. Um, but we don't really see too much with Japan. I wonder why that is. There's gotta be, there's gotta be. I need to go over them and be like, okay, where are you hiding your dinosaurs at? That's what I need to do. Uh, so we're going to try to get this to level 15. We're probably only going to get it to level 12, if we're going to be honest. Um, very strange with its uh, its jaw there. So level 12. So we're, we're not going to be anywhere near. We need to first get level 15. And then, not only that, but we need to start using it in order to get the... Fukimusu. Fuk Fuk yeah, we're gonna have to edit that. Please. Yeah, we can't say that. Jesus. Uh, anyway, that hybrid. Yes, James, remember to censor Rex. That. Good lord. <laughs> so uh, they added another apex, which was this guy. Um, the Dio. I've already got like plenty of DNA for, and I could hybridize more for that. Only problem is bumpy to make the other one. So we can give it a pop. We can give it a pop. And you know what? Forties. Yeah, that's. Uh, you know what? If we have effects on that, can I? Yeah, yeah, we get, we get that. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. That's good. I'll take a 40. We need that 10 more times. Eight more times. I'll be pretty happy. Maybe even seven. Uh, but that's not going to happen. And I think actually in this game, uh, there was a data mine. And if you don't know what a data mine is, it's basically uh, where somebody takes the APK file, like the app file, and then extracts all the information out of it. And they found out that actually n these dinosaurs aren't random for fuses. Basically, it's... It, I don't want to say it's rigged, but there is a, a chance of getting something. So if you're fusing commons, there's more chance of you getting 100. If you're fusing uniques to apex, like the chance of getting 100 is like 0%. Base. I don't know what it is, but it's very low. And 10%, I think 20% is actually the highest. 10% is low because I think they know that 10% annoys people. So they give 20%. Uh, but 10% is still higher than 30, for instance. Um, but... We do have this, the Alberta Spinos. Um, so out of all of the newest hybrids, we do actually have one to show off. It is a unique. It's probably going to have bleed, I'm assuming. Um, so, oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, it looks so badass. That looks awesome. So at level 21, 3,000 health, 940 damage. Uh, no, I'm not going to rate you five. God, I, I play your game enough. So let's have a look at this. This is good. So you've got a delay of one. So you can't instantly come in and do a priority shattering and stuff. Um, so shattering swap in wound. Ooh, so when you swap in, you break the shield. Also do a 20% damage over time. Oh, minimal critical counter. So when you get hit, uh, increase critical hit chance by 5% for three attacks. For three turns. Uh, saying if you're going to survive. Also, they can't swap out, so that's quite interesting. You're also resistant to being swapped out. And you get a general all-out, you know, you can't be sped reduced. You can be attacked uh, reduced. However, you do have two attacks that are about the swappages. So, defense shattering wound. So, you just go through and you also do 20% damage over time. You have the lethal swoop, which gives you 33.4%, meaning that you kill them in three turns. And it lasts for three turns. So, unless they swap out uh, or they heal themselves, they're going to die in three turns 100%. That 0.4 means they do die. Because I think at one point it was 33.3, but then, of course, the damage 
the, the attack usually does damage, so that takes it into account. But because this one has a swap, meaning you don't do anything, I, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Killer Instinct, of course. Uh, Fierce Rampage is decent as well. This has... Ooh. It has the ability to do some decent damage to tanks like Sonosaurus or like that, that, that hybrid. That's quite interesting. So we'll, we'll do a couple of fuses. Uh, we'll, oh, I'm gonna get a 70 there. Okay. Alberta Sword being one of those dinosaurs, I think, was quite decent for getting, um, you know, uh, incubators and stuff like that. I don't think anything else. So, whoa! I'm quite low on the Utah, Utah Spinosaurus, is it? I think it might be Utah Spinosaurus. This, this thing is stuff of nightmares. Look at it. Ooh. Ooh, it's all bony and spike. At least this one's its a little bit chunky. Eh? Uh, so we'll go for another five. Oh, oh, two fitties. Oh, a hundred and fitty. Oh, I'll take that. I think that might... No, it won't be. It won't be enough in order to fuse again. But we'll do another one there. 430. Okay. Okay, so we can get it to level 23. So I'm happy with that. I think at least... We need it 25 in order to, you know, hybridize it to make an um, an apex if it does get that hybrid. Now that that bar has been set by Ludia, you kind of don't want to make your... Unless you really want to use a unique at level 30, you kind of only want to get them to level 25. Other than that, it's, it's kind of a waste. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Uh, we'll do one fuse, because why not? So, its speed's decent, its crit's not, even though it does increase its own crit. But it doesn't have the survivability that 3,300 health and 1,000 damage. It's not a hard hitter. It's quite fast at 124. And I mean, as long as it survives one round, you can lethal swoop out. And maybe that's what you want to do. You want to swap in to just get that bleed off, destroy your shield, and then stay in for a little bit to maybe do a defense shattering. Because that's pretty much all you'll be able to do. Because everything is delayed one. And then you're, it's up to you whether you want to go for a killer instinct. Just to do some damage. Uh, and make sure they do die if they stay in. Or lethal swoop out. And just, you know. This game at the moment is all about the swapping ins and swapping outs. Uh, we are very close to getting a level 28 copy. They just switched it over to Sonosaurus. Uh, for the daily rewards. Which I'm not too fussed about. Because I kind of do want that hybrid. Even though I feel like with this game. Every time something's good. It's other things come up to usurp it. Or it gets nerfed. And I feel like with Sonosaurus. It's slowly going to happen to it. Uh, but we are very close to level 28 for compass. I do I want to use my babies. But they're so bad. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. Uh, so what we're going to do. Is we're going to jump into the Gyrosphere de Depot. Because it's just restarted. And let's see just how we can do. Okay, so Arena 12, Jairus, Arena Depot, everything's reset. Will I be put with people of my level? I don't know, maybe not. Uh, okay, so here we go. We got our fast Morty. We got the, you know, the Indotaurus with a, a boatload of health. The Count, the Scorpius. Really, what's actually good here is Utaranex is ready to swap into the uh, Scorpius Rex Gen 3. So worst case scenario for me is something like Trico, yeah. <laughs> what would be even worse is uh, Hadrosaurus Lux. So at least this way, we can we can go for this. We are quicker. Now, we could big brain play it. Um, by Because he's, he's going to do a, a boatload of damage to us here. And we're in the region of something being able to kill us. Now, he knows we could go for Rampage and Run and do a lot of damage and get out. However, if we switch in into Taurus, he might try to switch out and we can get a hit off. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and big brain play it. I'm inflating. Is it gonna happen? Is big brain play gonna happen? Big brain play happens! There you go, a pesky alert. Brilliant. So something's gonna come in, it's gonna hit me, but it is gonna take a counter. Oh, it is going to take a counter. I'm so sorry. Not only do we resist it, oh, but apparently it goes through a cloak anyway, uh, but something big is gonna hit back on, oh, you hate to see it happen. Uh, so what we could do now is just swap out. Um, the chances are he's probably gonna go for his um, his critical sidestep. Um, but saying if he is gonna do that, I, yeah, I think he's, oh, he doesn't. Interesting, In oh, and he goes through our cloak twice. Well, well, what, I mean, what can you do against such reckless hate? We're gonna die either way. 
Uh, so I guess... Oh, that's unfortunate. He went through our cloak twice. And the thing is, when stuff like that happens, there's not what you can do. He's just going to go for a hit. And I have to do this. Oh, and he gets a crit as well. He gets a crit as well. So pretty much, we he went through our cloak twice. He got a crit when his crit was only 15%. Um, yeah, we're pretty much screwed. We're pretty much screwed. We should be 1-0 up at this point. And still having our end Taurus with, like, maybe a little bit of health left. Um, so, hopefully we can get lucky. Uh, and judging by that, 3,170. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I'm kind of tempted to go for the, the cloak and get our speed boost up. But you know what? I'm not going to. Hopefully he doesn't get a crit. Um, he doesn't. That's good. Even with the 20%, you know, 5% more chance to get it. Um, I would have went for... Oh, he thought I was going to do it. He thought I was going to big brain him, but I didn't know. Sorry, son. Uh, unfortunately for us, however, we don't really have anything to counter this. Even our Utaranix is not quick enough. Um, so I am kind of tempted to... I mean, there's nothing I can do here. There is literally nothing I can do. I'm going to try and... Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I was he. Ooh, what was he? What was he ad attempting to do there? Do you think he was attempting to expect me to just go for the defense shattering and not get a crit or something? Like, what was, what was he expecting to happen there? Ooh, very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I was hoping for the crit. I was hoping for the crit. I don't think I would have killed him. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, he's to go for that. Oh, I got a zero. Wow. Okay. Uh, pretty much, we've lost this one. He got through the two cloaks and got a crit. Yeah, we're, 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 we've definitely lost this one. Um, although saying that, it really depends what his other creature is. Because uh, I'm going to go for my raw here, freeing me up to go for a big hit next time. What does he have? Oh, okay. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, I think I've lost. I think I've lost. Yeah, I've definitely lost. Uh, yeah, because he reduces me here. Um, and then, yeah, yeah. He, he just needs to get me to the point that I have less than 3,000 health. Um, and with his, what is it? Yeah, 3,000 damage with the bleed. He's, he's pretty much won. Good game. I'll blow him a kiss. Yep, we've lost. Because ne like next turn, even if we manage to kill him here, somehow, which we don't, uh, his Magnetator is going to come in and just finish me. So well done, well done. That was a three. That was a three-one victory. When really, I feel like we probably should have won that. But like I said, he went through the cloaks. He got his crits when he needed them, and that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Complete luck. So I apologize. Well, I mean, there's nothing I could do there. I'm sorry. Let's do another one, shall we? Hopefully, we get better RNG. Interestingly enough, with this one, I kind of want to get rid of my. Uh, my deer, because at least with my Utaranix, I can swap in uh, Monol Rhino and do a, you know, get a ramp Rampage run and then get the swap in attack. So I'm actually going to just start with this. It's it's risky. Um, but at least, it, you know, at least in this episode, we get to see also Lockwood Manor. Um, so actually, this is, it's not the best matchup for me uh, because he can go for his persistent uh, attack and then do a dig in and just heal loads. So... I feel like this, this, um, this battle here is not favoring me at all, like, in the slightest. I think I might be tempted just to dig in now, um, and I will, because I feel like he's just gonna go for his biggest hit, uh, or another, uh, ferocious. Either way, I'm gonna block it, yeah. So, I think now what he's gonna do is his dig in. I don't think it stacks twice, I think it's only for one turn, yeah, okay, that's good. Because otherwise, he could do a huge dig in. So I'm going to assume he's going to go for dig in here. Uh, oh, he didn't. Oh, bugger. I could have done a lot of damage there. Uh, let's see what he's going to do. Is now he's going to do the resilient. Okay. Okay. Um, hold the, hold the phone. Get that phone and hold it. Because I think we might be in with a chance here. Um, I'll go for rampage now. Oh, damn. I got completely played. Uh, I mean, I couldn't really predict that. Um, but good news is, I can use it next turn, and, well, not, you know, the one after, and he can't use Digging. So a little bit of damage. Um, 
we can do as now. So it, it depends what he might do. I think he's going to just try and stack the next hit. So he's going to go ferocious this time, and then resilient next time. No! Interesting. Okay, so now uh, I've healed so much. And I can also just go for my biggest hit now. Ooh. Ooh, this isn't favoring him, actually. I thought it would. He did remove my speed. So that's something, at least. Um, and then he can go for his dig in next turn, which will heal him quite a bit. But this is a big chunk of damage. Like 2,600, as well as, you know, just doing a hit. Oh, yeah, he's just going for it. He's going for it. I actually don't care about this deal at this point. My strategy is Utaranix to switch to do Model Rhino, and then hopefully it survives and does it again, because Utaranix is quite fast. Um, I don't reduce its speed. Um, now, am I tempted? Like, uh, you know what? I'm just going to go for this. Yeah, I'm going to go for this. I don't think he can kill me. I don't think he can kill me. Yes, we actually killed him. No way. I didn't want this to happen. Okay, we're a level lower, but I think... Yeah, we do 2,000 on damage, so we killed it. Wow! It was a level higher as well. Should I have won that one? I, I feel like I shouldn't have won that exchange. I, I think he's way better. Oh, okay, a Phosphora. What's its speed? 146. That's all right. He's probably going to go for his um, instant thing. Oh, good. Good. That means it's out the way. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so he on the swap, I think he just does a rampage. Uh, does he do rampage on swap? It just stops you from swapping. What? Am I able to swap out as... Oh, I'm not guaranteed a swap out. Okay. Okay. Uh, so 146 speed, 154. Yeah, he'll go for critical sidestep. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Um, I think this might not be too bad. It's either going to be really bad or it's going to be really good for me. It's it's going to be... It's neither or. Uh, have I taken damage? I, it looks like I have. It looks like my bar is not full enough. Uh, so I'm just going Rampage. Yeah, he'll go for Lethal Rampage here. That's fine. That's fine. Um, unless he's got, like, a really good Monolo Rhino. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're not going to get any bleed damage here. But he does have a dodge. Uh, so he does get the dodge, yeah. And then Monolo Rhino will come in. Actually, Monolo Rhino is pretty decent for, for taking on this guy. Because in two hits... Um, I do get to just go through his dodge and also his invincibility. So he says well played. Uh, I mean, I think it was more well played on his part. I'll give him the thumbs up though. We've got to give him the thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> so now, um, does he, I think it's the attack that can't be reduced. So it's actually better for me to go for a shield at least. Um, yeah, crappy strike. Uh, I, like that's, I think that's the best I can do really uh, he's gonna go for his nullifying. Actually, that's a lot of damage. 5,200. And I only have 30% armor. Um, oh, 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 I think he might kill me here. Yeah, oh, it was close. It was freaking well played, dude. Well played. Um, okay, now what's his speed? 158. Good lord. And I can increase my speed by 30%. Um, I think I've just got to do it. Is he immune to bleed? Oh, you bugger you. I think he... Yeah, I, uh, this isn't good. Because um, I think he'll just go for invincibility here. Long invincibility and just stall me out. Although, no, saying that, I can just go for like a regular hit and just go through that. Uh, so I think he's going to try and go for uh, invincibility here. And just stall. No, he went for crafty strike and gets a crit. You bugger you. Uh, bypasses dodge and armor. So does, is it a priority for the, si the sidesteps priority? So he might do that. Yes, he's going to do that. Oh, God. These people have just had, like, the perfect team to take me on. I never see this. I never see this guy. So, hopefully, we can get the crit here. Uh, don't get the crit. And he also doesn't die. And we don't... Oh, he's stunned, though. Oh. Oh, that is a shame. He can switch out if he wants to. Um, uh, now, how long does his speed last for? You know what? You know what? Yeah. 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 I'll go for it. I mean, I... Oh, yay! Finally, the cloak works. I've lost this game. Don't worry. But I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I might as well do this because he will go for priority. Uh, I want to play the safe in case he wanted to swap this in. Um, so he'll go for his cunning. Um, or is he going to heal himself? No. Okay. Okay. 
So he has to go through my cloak and, ah, finally, some stroke a bit late. I would have preferred this in the other one. Uh, so we can at least do that. We don't get a crit because he removed that. 3,000 and odd. Um, and now he gets to speed increase himself. And I think he's definitely survived this. I think it's a 100% chance to dodge 70%. Yeah, or something like that. So I definitely haven't killed him here, and I don't get a crit. This is very unfortunate. Um, I think he's got his priority move back. Um, oh my god, the, just the perfect. Just the perfect. Yeah, they, well well played, man. Well, like, was lit I don't think I could have played that any better than I did. He had the perfect, like, that was faster. Got the right counter for my model right up. Like, so much boosted on the attack. That was crazy. Two of those dinosaurs so close to death. I can't remember what his other dinosaur was. But you know what? Like, well done. We, You know what? We're going to do one more. I will freaking win a game. God damn it. This is what you don't get on any other YouTube channel who plays Trust World Live. You, you watch their battles, you know they're going to win. They never put in their losses. I'll do. I'll, I'll put one in for you. I love you. I'll do it. Okay, so let's start strong. Let's start with you, Toronix. And oh, oh, yes, a Thordor at level, okay. It's at level 28. Oh no, oh no. Uh, now I feel bad. Thordor is so bad and it's only level 28. Oh no, no. And I even get to like, do because it could do instant shots. I get to do the, oh. Oh, well, okay. Okay, that's not... That's better. And he might even stun me here. That's better. I think he's immune. Okay, so well played. Well played. I could have... I could have went for the uh, the Rampage and Run and, you know, actually killed this thing in, in one turn. But now he can do his priority. So, you know what? Uh, I, what should I do here? I think I just have to... Yeah, I'm just going to swap him on the Rhino. I'm gonna try and keep my Utoronix alive. So far, it's it's quicker than most things. I would have preferred to have gone for a big hit, then done this. So yeah, he would have some health left. I wouldn't have killed him, but I would have killed him this turn, I think. So he'll go for group accelerating, then he'll go for the rampage, I think. Um, so I kind of just want to go for, I mean, I kill him. I'm gonna go for the priority here. I'm gonna go for this one, because I know he's just gonna go for that. Um, yeah, he'll just go for that. So, oh, we got a crit as well. Why? 10% chance. What's with these guys? Oh, my God. So, I'm just going to kill him. I'm just going to kill him. Everything's getting crits. Everything's doing good. Oh, he wants to save it? Oh. Ooh. Okay. I mean, I would have just let the Thordor die if I was you. Like, I would just cut my losses there and hit Thordor. You got a Thordor, Sarah Magnus. A Hydra freaking, but what level? 20, oh, Ooh, you know, I never face a Hydra boa. Well, the bleed's not good against me. I'm not going to switch out, so you don't get that. Uh, I yeah, I may as well, I may as well just reduce your attack. And then possibly next turn, as long as you're not faster, I can just go for something good. Okay, do you cleanse yourself or just give yourself a time? Okay, so you're back to normal. So slippery alert, slippery alert. You, okay, you cleanse it, you get a speed boost. Uh, because speed boost. No. No, you don't get his. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. I've never faced up against a Hydra Boa, so I, I remove the dodge, and at least I do. Uh, is it got boosts on it? Oh, it, do it does it? Is it that good? 100 129 and 126 speed. That feels like one. Oh, I feel like I'm against somebody who's quite mid tier. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to. I don't mean to kill you. Oh. Oh, he's trying. Oh, a Phosphor X. Oh, a level 30 Phosphor. Well then, 154. Okay. Okay, something that's pretty, pretty high tier. We'll take it on now. Um, right. So what do you want to go for? Ooh, this is it. What's his damage? He does 5,000. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so I'm kind of tempted for Indotaurus. Kind of tempted for Indotaurus here. Uh, I feel like... I, I, if I go for the cautious, then he's just gonna he's gonna outspeed me. Go do five thousand damage, and then I can go for cleanse next turn. At least do some. You know what? Yeah, yeah. You'll go for the instant. Why? No! 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 You could have just inst. 
instantly done like 5,000 damage to me. No! No, no, now you might not. Now you might not do that much damage. What did you, what did you, oh, did he already use it? No, did he use it? He might have already used it. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. Well, at least we... Okay, fair enough. Oh, what a crit. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I mean... Uh, right. This is interesting. Because what's he gonna do? Alerts... You know what? Oh! You bugger you! Do I, get a, do I still get a switch out? Even though I'm stunned? Please tell me I do. Please tell me... Yes, okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna say... Because if I can't switch out of stun, that's rubbish. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. I, I, could I have been resisted? Like, could I have been locked down there? I didn't. I didn't think that through. That was. A, that was a. Well, we're we're playing mid. We're playing mid here, guys. There's only so much we can do. Really. Uh, so, he has his own priority. Fable. Is it Fable Fangs? Oh, I love the sound of that move. That sounds so good. Oh no. I really beat that guy a lot, and I'm so sorry. The Thordor let you down. If you're watching the Thordor, get rid of that. Small, small, oh, small fish. Oh, no, I feel like that. He was well underleveled. I should not have taken him off. Well, anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there. Um, if I manage to unlock another hybrid, we'll do a video or if something interesting comes up. But the thing is, with this game, unlike Jurassic World, the game, it's like new hybrids come out. I can't make them. So I can't make content. And I've already relayed, you know... My, my my this feeling too Ludia. it's like I, I like the game I play it but I can't dedicate so much time to it because I do so much other things so it's either I I only make like one video a week if that and, and that's it I want to play more it's loads of fun but I can't showcase too much because I don't have anything and they, they do you know they gave me incubators like maybe twice a year which is great but even then it's like I can't really I have 17,000 books but that doesn't give me more DNA. And even if I want to open incubators, it's not that good. And even then, they cost real money. So anyway, guys, we're going to put in the three-hour incubator. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.